good morning class yesterday we have started uh, the study of group 17 elements that is halogens and we discuss about chlorine now today we are going to study about hydrogen chlorides so first we will see its preparation then properties and after that we will go for its uses so uh, hydrogen chloride can be prepared by heating sodium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid so when HCl, sorry, sodium chloride reacts with uh, sulfuric acid H2SO4. It forms sodium bisulfate, and then this sodium bisulfate, on further reacting with sodium chloride, it forms sodium sulfate and HCl. Properties: It is a colorless and pungent smelling gas. It is extremely soluble in water and 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 ionizes as. So this HCl is a colorless, and it has got a pungent smelling, and it is highly soluble in water and when it, it dissolves in water it will ionize as H3O plus and Cl minus. Its aqueous solution is called hydrochloric acid. So HCl in the gaseous form we call it as hydrogen chloride and when we dissolve in, in water we call it as hydrochloric acid which is a strong acid in water. It reacts with ammonia and gives white fumes of ammonium chloride. So this hydrochloric acid can react with ammonia to form a dense white fumes of ammonium chloride. So ammonia reacts with HCl to form ammonium chloride. When three parts of concentrated HCl and one part of nitric acids are mixed, this solution is called as aqua regia is formed, which is used for dissolving noble metals like gold and platinum. So there is a term called aqua regia. It is a mixture of three parts concentrated HCl and one part concentrated nitric acid. And this mixture is used to dissolve noble metals like gold, platinum. Hydrochloric acid decomposes salt of weaker acids like carbonates, hydrocarbonates, hydrogen carbonate sulfides. So when you, cons uh, when you take sodium carbonate and reacts with HCl, it forms sodium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. If you take bicarbonate, it forms sodium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. And if you take sodium sulfides, it reacts with HCl to form sodium chloride, water and sulfur dioxide. Now uh, next uses, it is used in the manufacture of chlorine, ammonium chloride and glucose from corn starch. Number two form extracting glue from bones and purifying bone black. And number three, it is used in medicines and as a lab reagent, laboratory reagent. So these are the different uses of HCl. Next oxo acids of halogens due to high electronegativity and small size fluorine forms only one oxo acids HOF known as fluoric acid or hypofluorous acid the other halogen forms several oxo acids like hypohalose acid halose acid halic acid and perhalic acid they are stable only in aqueous solutions or in the form of their salts Chlorine forms four types of oxo acids. This is important. The oxo acids of fluorines are important. Hypochlorous acid HOCl, chlorous acid HClO2, uh, chloric acid HClO3, and perchloric acid HOClO3, HClO4. The structures of them are is given as uh, hypochlorous acid where uh, oxygen is in between and attached to hydrogen and chlorine this is hypochlorous acid Chlor uh, chlorous acid is H attached to O then chlorine and chlorine attached to a double bond oxygen similarly chloric acid Cl attached to two double bond oxygen then OH and then we have got perchloric acid Cl attached with the three oxygen atom with the double bond then OH so that is uh, that are the oxo acids of um, chlorine next interhalogen compounds what does interhalogen compound means when two different halogens react with each other interhalogen compounds are formed so when two different halogens say for example fluorine and chlorine or fluorine or iodine they react with each other and they form compounds such compounds we call it as interhalogen compounds they can be assigned general compositions as AX, AX3, AX5 and AX7 where both A and X are halogens. A is larger and more electropositive than X. That means when you write AX, A is larger in size and more electropositive than X. As the size of the central atom A increases, 
the stability of the compound also increases preparations the interhalogen compounds can be prepared by the direct combinations or by the action of halogen on lower interhalogen compounds so the interhalogen compounds are prepared by the direct combination of the uh, halogen on lower interhalogen compounds say for example chlorine reacts with fluorine to form clf iodine reacts with chlorine to form icl3 chlorine reacts with fluorine to form clf3 bromine, uh, bromine reacts with fluorine to form brf3 similarly B, uh, bromine reacts with fluorine to form brf so these are the different um, formation of interhalogen compounds next properties these are all covalent molecules and are diamagnetic in nature they are volatile solids or liquids except clf which is a gas at 298 kelvin their physical properties are intermediate between those of constituent halogen the interhalogen compounds are more reactive than halogens except fluorine this is because ax bond in interhalogen is weaker and xx bond in halogen except fluorine fluorine bond are they are uh, stronger the type of interhalogen compounds and their structures are as follows uh, type the first type and examples is given uh, ax type brcl bri then we have got um, uh, ax3 type then clf3 brf3 if3 bent uh, and this ax type we call it a linear uh, then we have got square pyramidal that is AX5, CL5, BRF5, IF5, they are square pyramidal and uh, lastly AX, AX7 type that is IF7 pentagonal bipyramidal. So these are the different examples of interhalogen compounds. Lastly uses, these compounds can be used as non-aqueous solvent, interhalogens are very useful fluorinating agents. So this is the use of interhalogen compounds. So in this class we are going to start with group 18 elements.